Hello, my name is Adam and I am pre-sales consultant at Stormit. Stormit as an AWS Select Consulting Partner can help you make the most of what AWS Cloud has to offer. Today we will take a look on one of the Amazon CloudFront CDN features called Origin Shield. Content delivery networks such as CloudFront can cache your content on hundreds of pops closer to your user. Some CDNs have their own features that can dramatically improve your caged radios and protect your origin server. One of these features is called Origin Shield. So, at first we will take a look at what is Origin Shield, then specifically on Amazon CloudFront Origin Shield and why use it and its use cases. Then we will look into AWS Management Console on how to enable it for a simple CloudFront distribution. As a last thing, we will look at its pricing. So what is an Origin Shield? Generally, it is a protective feature that shields your origin servers. While there is no simple specific for this feature, because Origin Shield differs across the CDNs that have this feature. An origin shield is a good idea to reduce the load on your origin server and maintain high performance content delivery. As you can see in the picture, every request and response from CDN pops or edge servers should go through CDN origin shield first and only if it's necessary go to the origin server. And what about Amazon CloudFront origin shield? CloudFront Origin Shield is an additional layer in the CloudFront caching infrastructure that helps to minimize your origin's load, improve its availability and reduce its operating costs. If your origin is located outside of AWS, performance can be also improved by leveraging AWS's global private backbone network based on Origin Shield. Once enabled, CloudFront will root all origin fetches through Origin Shield and only make a request to your origin if the content is not already stored in Origin Shield's cache. The main reason why you can use Origin Shield is connected to the normal behavior of CloudFront. When using CloudFront, your user requests are first routed to a nearby CloudFront edge location pop. And if the object isn't caged in that location, the request is sent onto a regional edge cache. When your users are in different geographical regions, requests can be routed through different regional edge caches, each of which can send a request to your origin for the same content. That's where Origin Shield can replace your origin. Every request will go first through this chosen regional edge cache. To serve live video events or popular on-demand content, you might use multiple CDNs. It means that your origin might receive many duplicate requests for the same content. These redundant requests might affect your origin or cause additional operating costs. And that's where Origin Shield can also help significantly. So, what are Origin Shield benefits? First, you can get a better KG ratio of your distribution by providing an additional layer of caging in front of the origin. When you use Origin Shield, all requests from all CloudFront edge locations to your origin go through Origin Shield, increasing the chance of a cage hit. If you want to know more about cage hit ratio, read our blog post about it. The link is in the description below. The second benefit is that you can reduce origin load. Origin Shield can further reduce the number of concurrent requests sent to your origin for the same object. Requests for content that are not in Origin Shield's cage are merged with other requests for the same object, so only one request is sent to your origin. And 
As a last benefit, you can get better network performance and latency. When you enable Origin Shield in the AWS region that has the lowest latency to your origin, you can get better network performance. And for our demo, AWS offers Origin Shield in AWS regions where CloudFront has a regional edge cache. At this moment, there are 12 regional edge caches. We will have to choose the AWS region that has the lowest latency, basically a distance to our origin server or service. In this case, the origin of our distribution is Amazon S3 bucket with videos. And so how to enable origin shield? Let's go to AWS management console and find out. So we are in the AWS management console and First thing we need to do is go to S3 and check our bucket, which we will use for our CloudFront distribution. I already have, have it here with my example video. So I am going to CloudFront and I will create my distribution with Origin Shield. So click on create distribution and choose the origin. As you can see, it could be any HTTP endpoint or some of the AWS services like media, media store containers or S3 bucket. So I will choose my S3 bucket and also here a simple function just choose yes for enable origin shield and my s3 bucket is in ireland region so i have to choose the europe ireland region or origin shield which is basically the place where my regional edge cache will be and it's everything what I need to do. And as you can see, I can allow another methods for my platform distribution and go to create distribution. So now my CloudFront distribution with all the origin shield will be created. And another thing, what I want to show you is if you already have a CloudFront distribution, you can simply enable this function. So I already have one here, which is enabled. So I will go to that CloudFront distribution and to origins. And I will choose the S3 bucket origin and click on edit. And as you can see here, I can enable Origin Shield very quickly. So I will choose yes and Europe Ireland region again and click on save changes. And if I go back to distribution, I can see that my older, my older distribution is deploying now and my new distribution is deploying now so this is everything basically the origin shield function is pretty easy to use and easy to enable so i can go back to my presentation and for the cloudfront origin shield pricing for dynamic requests that are not possible to cache and are proxied to the origin such as HTTP methods, put, post, patch, and delete, you are basically paying for every request that goes through the chosen regional edge cache. This table represents the price based on the chosen region for your origin shield. So if you choose, for example, Frankfurt regional edge cache as your origin shield, you would pay the euro rate per 10,000 requests. And for cacheable requests like 
get head and options http methods origin shield is charged as a request fee for each request that comes from another regional cache to your origin shield region and also have to go through to your origin so basically if there is a cache miss thank you for watching if you want to see more videos about aws services subscribe to our channel or if you want to learn more about other services visit our website and blog links are in the description below and if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact us